Hello, third grade. This is page 135 from your reading workbook. Homework Language Dive 2, Model Narrative, Choosing Words and Phrases for Effect Practice. Write the scrambled sentence from Peter Pan in Kensington Gardens in the correct sequence. He said admiringly, You are wearing... There, young Peter. Why? That is a fine nightgown. You're going to take all these pieces here and write them in the correct order on the lines. Please pause the video to do that. Number two, complete the sentence phrase. Sentence frame, choose words from the bank below that have the effect of giving a compliment or showing kindness to someone. In the word bank, we have lovingly, amazing, wonderful, messy, inappropriate, irritably, affectionately, delightful, ridiculous, annoyingly, happily, angrily. That is blank. You are wearing blank. I said blank. So you would take these words here that would be giving someone a compliment or showing kindness. So think about the word that might be nicer words to say. And then you will use those words and maybe come up with some of your other words to fill this out. You know, something like that is a nice shirt you are wearing today, I said nicely. Nicely is not there, but that would be an example of what you would do. So please pause the video to complete the sentence and use one of those words in this word bank. Complete the sentence frame. Choose the words from the bank above that have the effect of expressing irritation or frustration at someone. So think about the more upset, angry words. That's what you would use to fill out this sentence. That is a bad hairdo you are wearing now, I said meanly. Meanly's not in that word bank up there, but that's an example of how you would fill this out. So make sure you use the word bank to fill out, especially this piece right here, the other two pieces, three pieces. You would be coming up with words on your own. Please pause the video to do that. Number four, read the sentences below and underline the word or phrases that have the effect of showing Peter's sadness. A. Solomon could see that Peter was feeling down. B. He remembered his mother and their home. With sadness, he realized that he missed her very much. So underline the phrases that have the effect of showing Peter's sadness. Please pause the video to do that. Number five. Revise the above sentences by adding or changing words or phrases to emphasize Peter's sadness even more. So you would add on to this sentence to A. Solomon could see that Peter was feeling down. So if I was going to add on more, I might say Solomon could see that Peter was feeling down. And then I might write here because he was crying or something like that. Something that would show how you know how Peter is feeling. B sentence says he remembered his mother and their home and with sadness he realized he missed her very much. So for B, you would add some phrases or some words. So I might add a word in. So I might put, you know, he 
sadly remembered his mother. So down here, since sadly goes between some words, I would put he sadly remembered. Or you could add something on at the beginning or the end of the sentence. I don't want you to use my examples. I want you to come up with your own to revise the sentences. End of this video. Bye, third grade.